place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Hey loves, welcome back to a new vlog. I wanted to get this vlog kicked off with doing a Lululemon haul first. I thought about keeping the haul exactly where I filmed it throughout the day, but thought that you guys might appreciate it just being at the very beginning of the vlog. So please let me know if this is something that you prefer, but let's go ahead and dive into it. I don't want this to be like too long of a haul video. So I am gonna try to talk about things semi quickly. I have been collecting things for a couple of weeks. So it's just, it's time, it's time to talk about it it's time to share with you guys and then i did try on every single one of these pieces too so i'll include little try on clips of what it looks like on so you can better visualize it first items up i ended up getting this new set in this army green new color first and foremost about the color i feel like this color is made for me i need to see what other things they have out in this color for some reason i feel like the color is a really good tone to match with my skin tone and it like really brings out my eyes does that sound like super weird you know like when you just find a really good color I feel like that's what I have found with army green okay this is all the Everlux and the mesh training fabric starting with a few of the tops I got like the full tank top version which is called the mesh panel training shelf tank this is supposed to be light support with those with B and C cups I feel that this fits my D cup perfectly well I did go with the size 2 which is typically the size that I go for when I get just tank tops versus sports bras sports bras I size up to a size 4 because of the Everlux fabric it felt really compressed and it felt like my chest was just going absolutely nowhere so I feel like it could actually work out in this I love the length of it I love all of the details and the mesh paneling in the back all throughout it I think it's just like a really fun unique top and then I also picked up the train bra so this I got in a size four I like that it's kind of like a long line or a mix between a long line so it provides more coverage in the front this is made for C and D cups so it fits my cup size perfectly well really compressed yet again I think that's just due to the fabric and then I of course just love high neck sports bras because it just provides way more coverage the back of this is so cool too it has all of like these little mesh panels and details the mesh details are really only on the back the front does have the mesh detail on the side but none of this is see-through it's a very solid so due to all of the mesh and the paneling in the back I just feel like it provides like way more ventilation through your workout you know and then I also picked up the leggings too I was really excited to try these out these are the 25 inch inseam I got them in a size 2 which is like my normal align size I'm really torn on this one it was really 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 difficult for me to get up and over my hips but once it was on it felt really good so I feel like this is very comparable and fit to like the wonder trains and how hard they are to get up so maybe go with the same size you would get in your wonder trains for doing this but I was very intrigued by the front of this and that the fact that there's no like band going across the front too I was wondering if this is gonna to sit flat and it definitely does it's high-waisted and then again it just has all of like the mesh detailing throughout the only see-through part is going down the leg but the Everlux fabric is perfect for training it's like an ultra breathable can withstand all like those high intensity workouts for sure I also got a set in the green juniper color I really wanted to see what this color looked like in person I think I personally prefer the army green color more but this is a really fun vibrant green color so the items that I got this color in was the Align bra, the one made for C and D cups. This has been just quickly a favorite of mine. It's a really easy sports bra to wear just lounging during the day, but I find that it also works really well for the Pilates and the workouts that I've been doing at home. For this, I go size four. It has removable padding in it. I typically like to remove it. I forgot to remove it for the try-on. And then I also got the ribbed Aligns. So that was also ribbed. Okay, one thing to note about 
about the ribbed. I thought that this was going to be like a hard rib, similar to, where are you? The energy bra ribbed ones. Like this is like a thicker rib, it doesn't stretch as much, but this is like the softest rib, super soft, super lightweight, everything you love about Aligns just in ribs. So I am very happy to see that. And then as far as these Aligns go, I got it in the 25 inch inseam. So everything about them fits exactly like normal Aligns. And then obviously the color of them too. So that's pretty much it for that. And then speaking on the Energy Bra. So this is the long line ribs. This is in the Vapor color. Who remembers the color Vapor from like three years ago? If this color is making a comeback, I'm going to be really excited about it. I got this in a size four and I think I've just learned my lesson on this for the ribbed long lines like this. Size up guys, like this is not stretchy at all. I suffered getting this on and off. So this is absolutely going back. I think I need to try a size six in this and see if it just fits more comfortably. But other than just my personal struggle with the sizing that I went through, I love the design of this. I love the rib and just like the details on the side, the long line, the strappy details on the back. It has a scoop in the front, but yet it still sits up high enough to cover my chest. So I love these two for working out. Sticking with sports bras, this is the last one that I wanted to share with you guys. You guys, I am so in love with this. I didn't think I was gonna be in love with it as I am, but this color is gorgeous. I need to see if they have them in the aligns. I think that that would be a really pretty matching set. Maybe if they came out with them in the line shorts eventually too, I would absolutely snag that. But this is called the High Neck Square Back Train Tank. I got it in a size four. It is Luxstream fabric made for those with B and C cups. Again, I would take out the removable padding in this. I left it in during the try on, but the back of this is is so flattering it really just accentuates your back and I love the placement of the straps too like really up high but then also low so I feel like even with the open back you get all of the support in the front that you need and you don't need to like fuss with it and like adjust it or anything like that like it just stays in place and then of course the high neck coverage in the front is amazing I love where it hits right below my chest but then it has this lower band too with like a mini little peekaboo moment oh I'm here for this I hope they come out with that and more color options I also picked up these shorts which is the lightweight high-rise short it's a 3.5 inch inseam these remind me of the spring break shorts do you guys remember those from a few years ago the design of it is exactly the same I would just say that the fabric is thicker than the spring break and these feel tighter throughout the hips and the butts so these are in a size 2 actually I was even thinking about getting them and trying them in a size 4 and see if it just provided a little bit more room in the butt but this colorway I die for it. It also comes in a few other color options. I love the drawstring waist on it. It has the pockets. The inseam length is perfect for someone who is petite. So I'm here for these. I'm glad I got them now because I'm going to be wearing them all summer long. Those are my favorite sort of shorts to wear for day to day in the summer. And then I also picked up these brush soft stream ribbed high rise joggers. So this is to match the half zip that I got a month ago. They finally released like the matching bottoms in them like a couple of weeks ago. I like just can not get away from this color. I love this neutral color and everything. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the jawstring on it and just like this cinched sort of waistband that it has. But then you guys, the details throughout this whole pant is so cool. It has like a mix of like the brushed solid paneling, but then it also has little paneling sections that are ribbed too. It's kind of like two-tone. It has all these other seam details going on throughout them too. And then the bottom is a jogger, but the band isn't as tight. The only thing that I would have to say about this is that on the butt it kind of like looks weird it kind of makes me look like I have a bumpy butt and it might be the color choice if you got this in a darker option I'm sure you wouldn't have that so I'm trying to decide if it's my butt or if it's the fabric I don't know <laughs> So this is a Lululemon Lab item and it is their textured grid half zip. So this is really similar to the fleece half zip that I've been wearing non-stop. You guys know the exact one I'm talking about. I got it from the men's section and it's in the exact same color, but it is from the women's section. Although I think all of the lab stuff is pretty much unisex. So this is probably unisex as well, but it's shorter. And then I like this one because of the grid detail to it too. But the softness of this is just like the other. It's just so fleecy. So 
so soft, so comfortable to wear. I like the proportions on this and the size of it. I think that it works really well. It does not have any pockets on it and I did get this in a size extra small, small, so super cozy. And I was very intrigued by this last item. So this is a insulated cardigan and I kind of just fell in love with the design. It's kind of like geometrical shapes. I don't know, something about it was just like, Krissa, you need to try it. So I'm glad that I did at least. I don't think it's an item that I'm gonna be keeping. First of all, it's heavy, which I actually like. I like things that are heavy. I just feel like it equals quality sometimes. It's kind of puffed, but then I also just see this as like an easy thing to throw on top of like whatever, like basic leggings and top that you have on. It could just really pull together and elevate an outfit. But me, the reason why I wanna return it is because it's not that soft. Like the inside, it's not itchy either, but it's just not a soft material. And I think I was expecting it to be like a little bit more cozy of a cardigan but for what it is I think it's so cool I should mention it does have pockets on it and then the length is intentionally supposed to be long to cover your bum too so oh, I don't know I love the length of it I love the relaxed fit it's just it's a vibe all right my loves that is everything that is everything I got from lululemon recently that I wanted to share with you as I always do every single item that I talked about will be linked down below in the description all of the details about all the items will be down there but also my sizes are always listed down there too just like as a reference for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and let's just go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog hi guys good morning happy saturday so i'm trying to pick out an outfit and today like it's weird i don't even know what kind of outfit this is but we're going with it so i have on this like really cropped turtleneck and then these are the girlfriend denim. If you guys watched the vlog where I tried on literally every single pair of jeans that I own, I decided to keep these and I wanted to wear them today because of like how cropped this is. I liked how high-waisted this was. So only like a little portion of my stomach was showing and I think I'm here for them. So I'm excited. And then I have on some new balances that have some gray in it to like tie it together. Maybe, I don't know. And it's sunny outside today, but it's like misleading because obviously it's winter. But I wanted to wear something besides my puffer jackets that I always wear. So I was like, okay, well maybe I can wear this jacket, you know? But then I was like, do does this not go like this sort of gray with this gray? Because I feel like it could work. I don't know why. I do have the brown one in the same style the coat from Aritzia that I love. I just feel like I really want to wear the gray one because I haven't worn the gray one yet since I got it. And I kind of like the way that the gray one looks with the outfit. Okay, I'm gonna go for gray. Okay, so it's 10.40. I haven't even worked out this morning. Kind of skipped it. I still am gonna do it today, but I'm very like sore and tired and I only have two days left in the program. Can you guys believe it? Is there more sun over here? So I'm like super excited to wrap up the program and once I'm done, I'm gonna take like one or two day rest day, but then I'm gonna get back into it because I really like the whole routine and doing it in the morning. I, I don't know, it just brings me so much happiness. I filmed my morning routine video. If you guys haven't watched it, please go watch it. Like it's so good. I love that video so much, the way that I filmed it. And I don't feel like those sort of videos on my channel do that well and I don't necessarily know why but anyway so I wanted to go to the mall all week long but I was so busy with work that I just never made it so I'm gonna go now but I hate going on the weekend because I get so busy on the weekend so I am going first thing in the morning and I'm crossing my fingers that it's not busy and I'm dragging Juan along with me and we're gonna like go get lunch but then we're gonna come back because the Seahawks game is on at like 1.30. So we're only gonna be gone for a couple of hours, but there's just like returns that I need to do. And then I need to drop something off at Nordstrom to get altered. And then I need to pick up an alteration at Lululemon. And then I wanted to go look at like these glasses from Crate and Merrill. Oh, and then do you have an order pickup at the container store as well. So quick little like errands this morning, you know? Got my purse, I'm just gonna bring my Bottega and then some hand cream on some hand cream it's kind of hot right now all these layers i don't know how much i'm gonna film while i'm out and about 
but for sure you guys will see me when i get back and when i get back i don't know there's just like so much things that i want to do this weekend like i said i was so busy this week that i kind of feel like everything around the house is just like a mess and that makes me feel like a mess too so I feel like this weekend just needs to be dedicated to trying to get my freaking life together. But like when all that stuff happens, I feel like, ah, like so disorganized and like crazy in my head. <laughs> so we need to not feel like that. We need to get our shit together. Okay, let's go. We are back home. We went to a new dumpling place. What was it called? Zhao Chi J? Zhao Chi Shi. Zhao Chi Shi? Perhaps. It's like a, a smallish dumpling place. And I heard that they were pretty close to tasting like Din Tai Fung. They had like the Zha Long Bao's, like the soup dumplings. And they're pretty dang good. And something really cool about them is that you can actually order them online or obviously in store and they ship like nationwide their soup dumplings and it comes in like a pack of 50 and you can just like make them at home and stuff so i was just really curious to see what they taste like and then we could like order them that would be a really cool idea but right next to that place there was this oh it says it right on the bag babe hong kong handmade dessert place so we got a couple of things to try Juan got a mango dessert, mango sago. Has like tapioca little balls with mango. And then I ended up getting these strawberry pancakes. They looked so delicious. I'm so excited to try these. Let's try these actually in a second. And then the things that I ended up picking up. So this is a pair of my Ready to Rulu straight legs. I did drop these off before, but they didn't even hem them. <laughs> when I picked them up the last time. So I had to redrop them off again to hem them up. So I'll have to try those on. I should have tried them on there, but you know, I didn't. And then I also picked up a couple of things from Crate and Barrel. The first being these little glasses. I thought that they were just so cute and then that they would have been perfect for my morning vitamin C shots that I take. So I only got four of these. Try them out. I don't think Juan loves the shape of them, like, because they're really short. But, I mean, I like them, and, like, you could stack them and stuff, you know? Cute. There we go. And then the last thing that I got was this tiny little marble mortal and pestle cluster. Why can I never say that? Anyways, grind up, like, little spices and herbs and salts. But I love, like, the design of this one specifically and the harsh veins in it. I think it's really pretty. I just paired like a plain white one with it and I thought it would be really cute next to the decor and stuff that I've been working pretty hard on for my kitchen countertops. I've been changing it all up and I'll share it with you guys soon in the next video maybe. I think there was only like one thing that I was waiting for. But anyways, that's everything that I got. And now I'm gonna go quickly change because when I get home, I need to immediately change out of jeans and into comfy clothes. Oh, I also got this one package in the mail. I was so excited about it. I ordered these little taco stands. So when we make tacos at home, how perfect is this? I'm so excited. Now we need to make some more tacos. <laughs> Let's move it. Seahawks wild card game is still going on against the 49ers. Hopefully it's good. Okay, so you just saw that we moved this painting. It's been leaning against this console table ever since we got this console table Ooh, in November. Um, but I finally got a little wire, a stainless hanging wire to put on the back of this painting so that we can officially hang it up. So that's the little task that we're gonna do right now. <laughs> First, I need to get all of these nails off of the wall that was here before when we had like these other frames up here. Um, I still haven't taken them off, so we need to do that first.
All right, let's do this. Instructions. It doesn't look like enough wire, but it says nine feet. And I was like, that should be more than enough. Okay. So what you're gonna do is bend it there and then start to, but be careful not to poke the wire off the canvas, but you're gonna start to twist this around and make it tight. Here comes the fun. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Wait, I'm guessing that that's me having ants. Ready? They're slouching again to the right? No. Oh my god, Roomba, you scared the shit out of me. So Roomba started moving out. And like creeping into my view, and I'm like, what is moving? What's that sound? Because I thought the painting was falling. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, what's happening? Ta da! And there we have it. Finally, it's hung up. It could go a little bit higher if I was to like step back, but I really don't want it to be that close to the air conditioning. And it is already what, like six, seven inches higher than where it was leaning against the console table. So I feel like I like this. If it does bother us, we can always just like move it up. It's not that big of a deal, but it feels good to finally have this part hung up. And then I also started to gather and take down all of the Christmas decor. So I still need to like replenish up here a bit. I started to collect Christmas stuff here. And then we definitely need to take down the Christmas tree as well. <laughs> For the centerpiece for our dining room table, I did have this in it, like I just said, but we just bought like some dried like real moss to put inside of here. I got one package, but it wasn't enough. A couple more packages just came in, so I think we can finish this project today. Also, I was planning on putting it in the centerpiece that's on the coffee table too, so maybe we can do that right now. This is the other one that I was talking about that's on the coffee table, and this one's just gonna stay right here on the dining room table. Okay, so I got this moss off of Amazon and I just had two more packages like I said come in so that we can hopefully this is enough like just finish this up what's so cool about this is that it comes in so many colors like different colored greens you can do like a white one too I feel like it's kind of pricey for the amount that you get but I don't know, maybe it's fine. And then on this, it says that it lasts a really long time. Some of the installs that this company did was over 10 years ago and like the moss is still looking brand new. So that's good enough for me. So let's try to see about filling this in and trying to make it look pretty. I'm trying to decide if I want it to be like flat like this or if I like want to raise it up, but I think it's just dependent on how much I have. So we'll play around with this right now and see what, what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one for a second. I'm gonna come over to this one. I feel like I need to set like a little bit of a base for this first. Ah, I don't know though. Since it like dips lower and I think I want to like have this one be a little bit more of a dome. Look at that, it's like all Kind of raised it up. I told you, like a pie. Do you like that? Do you think I should raise this one up a little bit like in the center? One. Or do you think I like it, you like it flat? Let's give it a couple of days. Days? To see. I mean, it's easy. I could just take apart the center and put some of this underneath it. I'll do it. But this needs to be more flushed. Full? Like you think it. it needs to be more full? Yes. And here's the finished product. I did add more height to it. Here's like the overview of it. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I've been debating what I wanted to put in this bowl for so long. And then I was debating between doing this and then doing like the moss balls, but 
I think that I just prefer the look of this more. I love that it adds just so much greenery to all of like our neutrals. So like a pop of green, which is really exciting. And then over in our living room, here is the one that goes in the center of the coffee table. So love that we added like more height on this one more of like a dome and we just like to keep our coffee table really simple clean like nothing on it so i like this addition we might end up like switching this bowl out for something else like in the future we'll see but for now we love this the 49ers scored like two touchdowns so this game is definitely over and seahawks are dead <laughs> we are no longer continuing um but yeah that was a fun like little quick project that i wanted to like wrap up and now with that being hung up and then those two things like things are just coming together so much more you guys this place it's a little bit of a mess i still have to clean up all of this and then i'm gonna see if i can have time to tackle taking down the christmas tree still today juan just really doesn't want me to take it down at all but i'm just like it's time we need to like take that down and then we'll move the olive tree over here back over to that corner too um so that should feel a lot better what i want to do right now really quickly is wash these little glasses so that i can put them away while i'm washing i wanted to share this so i ended up getting new sensor pumps for the kitchen before i had these ones and they're from amazon they're good they're not great the dish soap ended up getting clogged in this so much so i'm just going to repurpose this and put this in a bathroom with hand soap maybe upstairs i had two of them i put one of them downstairs in this bathroom so i just cleaned this one i'm gonna put it upstairs i got a smaller one of these black ones and put it upstairs in our bathroom i want to say like a month ago and i just love the sensor one so much more first of all the charge lasts longer it's like aesthetically pleasing too it's like more up my alley it holds more and it also doesn't clog too so all bonuses but i love that when you get a set of two it comes like with this tray and then a little um, spot to put your sponge to we used to have a tray right here in our sink to hold the sponges but i love that because it just like cleared up so much more space you know i think these glasses are so cute no it matches the other ones that we have that are like a little bit taller so now let's wash these But really getting sensor pumps for the kitchen has been game changer. I've loved having it there. You don't have to worry about like actually manually pumping, especially like when your hands are dirty. It just like put it under, it gives you what you need. Oh, I love, love, love them. It's something that I highly recommend. And I'm clearly now moving them all into um, all my bathrooms. I'm distracted by Oliver. Are you playing? Don't let me stop you. Continue. This is what I get for trying to catch him playing. He stops. I know you want it. It is 9.25 p.m. And I worked out. It was a challenge for me. Like a mental challenge to push myself and actually do the workout today because I wanted to stay on track. Tomorrow I'm finishing the program. So I just wanted to like hold myself accountable. I'm really proud of myself for doing it, but got changed in my pajamas, just took a shower and I'm gonna grab like one of my little protein balls I made in my morning routine to eat this cause I just, I need something. I still haven't had dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna have dinner. I'm not like that hungry, um, but I'm gonna get Juan to turn over um, the tv stop playing video games because there's this new netflix show what's it called match break Breakpoint. Breakpoints, which is like because i always think of it as like if you guys watch the formula one drive to survive it's like that but for tennis players it's a documentary of the year a documentary of, of 2022 tennis players and the games that they played <laughs> It shows you how much I didn't really know about tennis, but um, I started it without him and he came upstairs and caught me 
watching it and he's like wait what you're watching this about me and i was like i had no idea you wanted to watch this so the compromise was he watched up until where i was watching and then i went and worked out so now we can finish the episode together and then we'll watch a movie it has banshee in the title of it and colin farrell's in it i have no idea what it's called but colin farrell won a golden globe for it did he yeah I'm showing love with these non-dairy chocolate chips that I put in it. Have you had any of these since I made them? Um, you gave me one. Mm. A piece of it. I like it. So you haven't been eating my stash, thank you. No. No, but they're so good. What are you doing? Uh, popcorn. Huh? Popcorn. Right now? Let's finish the episode, babe. It's only 12 minutes. Okay, put it. We're about making Maybe. popcorn. Your favorite? Oh. Did you find it? Yeah. Excellent. Perfect. Guess what? What? You moved it. Guess what? I did not. Guess what? You did. Weird. Weird. In the same spot that I knew it was going to be in. Yeah, because you put it there. No, because it's always been here. The problem is getting the portions correct to only fit in this bowl because we know it's gonna like overflow. No. And get cray cray. It's gonna do Popcorn is still out. This is amazing. <laughs> mm, the butter is salted too. Mm. So I think I'm gonna skip on that just in case. Reminds me of the TikTok guy. You know the guy at the movie theaters with the butter and the popcorn? Butter. I don't have like that skill. Look at it. That's it. Good. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> also got some milk duds, popcorn and milk duds. No better combination. Let's go watch. Mmm, a diet coke too. Let's do it. process of getting ready right now we're gonna actually go on like a little day lunch date to the melting pot i'm so excited for it i haven't had the melting pot in so long if you guys have no idea what that is it's like a fondue place and we just like are just craving cheese fondue so we're going there for the sole purpose of just eating the cheese fondue maybe like the dessert fondue as well but this morning, I wrapped up and finished the full 14-day Pilates and Strength program from Form, which is by Sammy Clark. It's like a Pilates 
workouts thing she has like an app and it has like so many workouts on it but i wanted to just like conclude my thoughts on the program and just her company i guess like as a whole too the 14 days i thought was just going to be a struggle and surprisingly it wasn't i would say like probably day 11 i was definitely really tired but something about the workouts i still just felt motivated and i looked forward to doing them too like like even yesterday when I was saying like I was struggling with just like mentally wanting to do it I still just found the strength to just do it and I think like part of it is just holding yourself accountable and then once you do it then you build that trust with yourself too so it's like a sense of accomplishment that also feels so nice so anyways there's that aspect of it but I don't know I would just say after the 14 days I just feel so much stronger not only physically but mentally too like i found so much peace with my body and happiness it really helped me to get into a routine too that i like really look forward to so that aspect of it just like what it did for me like internally i'm super super happy about talking more specifically just about the workouts sammy has such a calming but motivating voice which it's something I really appreciate. She has such confidence in the way that she moves that it really just inspires me. I love her style. I love the music in all of the workouts too. And then also the structure of the workouts too. Rarely I would say she repeats a workout if she does it's like two sets, which I really appreciate because I feel like it makes it so the workouts aren't boring or repetitive. And like, I don't necessarily know what's coming next too, which helps me to stop thinking like, oh, like what's coming next? Like how much time do I have left? When is this over? So the fact that there's no repeats, yeah, that is absolutely incredible. Like, I feel like that's really rare. Like all of the workouts I do, they always do three sets and we have to do it three times and like, it gets so freaking boring. She also does different forms of movements from what I'm used to in workouts, but they're all still like super killer and super effective too. Also, I think something that really challenged me is that a weakness I have is that I'm not like very flexible, but I feel like with this, hey babe. I don't even know what I was saying. So I know that I struggle with my flexibility. So I know that I just have to do modifications, but even with her workouts, it like pushes me beyond my comfort zone and I gain in my like flexibility and stuff like that. But there's always modifications available and everything is very manageable as well. The app itself is really cool too. I know I touched on that in a lot of my videos. You can have it on your phone, your iPad, on your Apple TV. It's downloadable on all of those. So no matter like where you want to watch, Watch it it's accessible but then I think the one thing that I was concerned about is how many workouts were gonna be available like after this program but she uploads weekly and there is like hundreds of other workouts already just like available so after this program like I could repeat the program if I wanted to but I've also been starting to favorite and save a bunch of other workouts that I wanted to try and then she has like three other programs too so all in all I'm like honestly super impressed and i love it so much so i highly recommend it to you guys too i know that she offers like a free seven day trial so maybe check it out that way but yeah the workouts are killer i feel extremely challenged i'm like sweating my ass off after every single workout and they're all like good lengths of time too between like 20 to 40 minutes you can kind of pick and choose like what works best for you but Anyway, so that's kind of like my summary and my thoughts on it all. I think I covered it all, but if you have questions, let me know. When do you want to leave, babe? I think I just need to figure out my shoes. We're busting out the big boy. It's back to being super cold and rainy. So this is my Lululemon long jacket. I have on this sweater, some goldy jeans, and then some cream booties too. I don't know, it works. I'm having issues with forming outfits as of late. I don't know what my problem is. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Even if 
from falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling We've been sitting here watching Free Solo, and this kind of stemmed from this show that is on HBO that's called The Climb with Jason Momoa on it. And it's like this competition of climbers. It's really interesting. There's only three episodes out right now, and we watched all three of those episodes. And Juan brought up Free Solo. He's seen this movie before, but I've never seen it. And I was like, okay, yeah, let's watch it. And it's just a documentary of this guy climbing, or he does climbing without any ropes. Like, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I thought it would be kind of funny to turn on the camera right now and see our reactions because this entire time we've been sitting here, we're like, babe, I'm sweating. I'm sweating watching him. Like he has his fingers on like this grip, not even a grip, on the, like this slab and they just find like little divots to put their like a finger or like a little bit of your toe. Like it's uh, my anxiety, my anxiety. Yeah. The whole part of this documentary is leading up to him soloing El Cap in California and I guess it's never been done before. And this is something that he's been what? Thinking about for nine years. Who is this? Another free solo. That would be like my biggest fear. Cause like he even said like when he does these solo adventures, he doesn't tell anybody he's doing it because he doesn't want the added pressure of anything. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even tell his family, like nothing. So the fact that you're setting this all up with a film crew and you have all these people with you, like you typically do this by yourself with nobody. But I could see like if he's done a lot of this without film crews and this is your first time like adding that into the equation, it could add some pressure. Cause they even said it, imagine being the film crew and like taking this on and then he just like falls to his death right in front of you and you have it on camera. This would be- Don't you dare say that there's any similarities. No, I wasn't. Great. I was gonna say, he sounds like the most frustrating person to be in a relationship with. Like I could never. <laughs> He's still He's eating. eating, still eating out of a pot. <laughs> get a plate, get a fork, get a spoon, bro. No need. <laughs> this free soloing is making more sense the more that we watch. He's just like in his own lane, you know? His own person. Oh shit, he's going. 480 feet. It's not even a fourth. <laughs> oh my god. No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my 1600 feet. Oh my god. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. My feet are sweaty, my hands are sweaty. What do you think is going through his head right now? <gasps> Karate? Karate? No, 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 no. <gasps> How is that not the hardest part of the month? <laughs> this is too I'm so excited to cozy up right now and read a little bit with my tea. This tea is the best. It's this lemon honey herbal tea. Such a big yawn, you know? You have some dry blood right here that you won't let me get. It's like stuck right here to his lips. Now you're just gonna turn your back to me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, 
I got Spare this last week. It was just released and I was reading Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow and I had to take a pause from this in order to read this. I think a few things. One, like I was just super intrigued. I feel like I have Oliver's hair all over my face right now. <sighs> I'm super intrigued, but also I feel like on Instagram and stuff, like lots of spoilers are coming from this book and I don't want to get spoiled. And then thirdly, I watched the Megan and Harry documentary on Netflix and I thought it was so good. And maybe I'm the only one, but like I'm full on team Harry and Megan. So yeah. I'm just like really curious to his life some more, especially after watching that documentary on Netflix. Like it's so much focused on Megan, I feel like. Yeah, the relationship, but I was curious, I think more to him and his life a little bit more. Like I never really kept up with the Royals at all. I don't know a lot about like the structure, the history, how like that whole thing works. And I think it'd just be interesting to learn from like his point of view. And I think like fourthly in all this, like this is mind blowing that this was even written because they never share any ounce of their life like this personal before. So it's, super exciting and i should just feel like i want to be a part of history and like read this right when it comes out i don't know if that makes any sense but i don't know that's how like i feel about this book i posted this over on instagram and so many of you guys are reading it too so i hope you guys are enjoying it but yeah let's take a break from tomorrow 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 a little bit more let's focus on reading spare also i learned in the book where the title spare came from i was like what is this but it becomes crystal clear so if you're confused like me it'll be very apparent when you start reading okay dinner time he's been patient so let's reward him but at night he gets raw cat food he loves this stuff so much there's this new show that just came out on hbo tonight and juan has been looking forward to it for so many months i'll put it on the screen because i can't recall what it's called but it's made after um or inspired by a video game so we're gonna watch that. Um, I, we need to think about what we're gonna have for dinner. It is almost 8 p.m. right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. Tomorrow is um, Martin Luther King Day, so I actually get tomorrow off, which is really great, but I have a whole list of things that I'm gonna tackle tomorrow, including editing this video just to get it up for you guys on Tuesday. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoy spending the weekend with me. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye. Bye.